Record. Here we go. Welcome, everybody. So today's mastermind is just to give you an update of how to sell uh, in under 10 minutes. Okay, so this entire call took me 60 minutes, but the eight or I guess the seven minutes of it was basically onboarding this client. Okay, so we're going to go through this step by step. Now, the nice thing about the software that I use, and Tom, Todd's using it as well, is that we can make all your calls right through here and it records the call so I could assess what's going on with my staff. Now, watch how I, watch, watch how I answer the phone. Hello. Good afternoon, Cindy. How are you? I'm fine. I just want to go above your energy level there. It's RJ from Fix Love. How are you? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> this is what you get. You get high energy. You get motivation. Are you ready to go, Cindy? Come on. <laughs> so do you see that, right? It's just like you're coaching your sessions. Remember how I talked about the virtual sessions where it's like you got to come and you got to bring it right away. So if you answer that call or if you get on that call and you're boring and you're tired, they're boring. They're tired. So you got to get them above because what do they have to look forward to? Are they looking forward to a boring session, a boring coach? Or are they looking to a high energy coach that's going to bring them in out of their funk, right? So right away, I did that. And when I first got on the call with her, the first thing I said was just like, assume the name, right? It's like, hey, Lisa, how's it going? And you're like, who's this, right? You're like, do I know this person? Like, you're, you're right. You just put that shock and awe value, right? Visually, you can't see them, but vocally, you can hear them. And so you're basically talking to them like you would a friend, right? And then you establish your credibility. Now, one thing that's key with any of this is that the faster that you can get a hold of them, then the more likely they're going to answer their call and the more likely they're going to take action. Okay. So for us, we're able to track our leads right away. With us, you can see basically when she responds. So she's like, yes. Okay. Look how fast I called her. You see that? Like I called her within 10 minutes. I didn't even ask her, hey, like, are you available for a five minute call? Like, no, no, no. If she says yes, I'm calling right then and there, right? I'm not trying to book her in for a schedule tomorrow. Like she's, she wants it. She's in pain right now. If I give her 24 hours, the chances of her saying yes, diminish the longer that takes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, right. it's, it's surprising because it's been coming to the so, you know Okay. So this is what happened. And I just got off the call with another girl and she's like, yeah, I came in long distance. So here I am connecting. Okay. So like I'm relating to that person. But again, I'm the one doing the talking because as much as I care, like the most important thing is that we got to keep this conversation going, right? So it's me connecting with this person, opening it up. And that was me literally just talking. But again, I'm getting into their wavelength and getting into, into alignment, right? They talk about mirroring. That's basically what I'm doing with this person. You know how Winnipeg has the area code, right? We had no choice but to take the 413 7 Oh, okay. Well, so, yeah, for some reason it thinks that it's Prairie. Well, good. You can yeah. come all the way to Portland Prairie and work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just so. read about you guys had something going on on Capitol. Yeah, we, we Boom. Credibility, right? So she saw us in the news. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we were the first one to do a big social gathering in Winnipeg. And we've been getting nothing but hot leads from it. We just kind of like a social gathering. We're not actually calling it a workout because there was actually, actually some backlash that came with that. I, I, yeah, I read that. Yeah. 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 So we did a social gathering that was all volunteered with a bunch of people that randomly showed up. It was awesome. And where, where was, did you do it at? At the Cinnabon Park? Or no, we had two people because we have two locations. So our north location did one at the Terry Sawchuck Arena, which is the Kimberly Hill. And then uh -huh. our other location, we, we ran a workout out of the, uh, just right by the west location. You know where, you know where the- Yeah, yeah, that's the one that, I, that I've been to. Oh. So <laughs> all these sales, we're opening up our radius and we're actually like scouting all our entire city now. And so I don't make an assumption of knowing where this person is. And in fact, I don't even talk about doing in-house sessions. I, everything that we're selling is the virtual, right? Like I want to try and stack as many virtual clients as possible. And so I just kind of give her a blank picture, but I don't want to like be promoting in, in sessions yet. Especially, I won't even probably promote it for the next like 60 to 90 days until we're actually allowed to be at full capacity. Because as much as I'd love to do a big membership push right now, it's just like, we're, even if I did that, 
we're not going to be able to take all those people in. Right. So um, right now it's all about the virtual and I have no clue with it where this woman lived. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's right behind me. So the one that's over like the village there. Yeah. There's like a little hill. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you want to get back in the group? I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've been thinking stuff here at home, but I'm just kind okay. of, you know, yeah, I don't have a lot of room. I don't have a lot of room. I like I end up working out in my kitchen. Okay. I, I live in on one of these houses that have small kind of boxy rooms. Okay. And we don't have a <laughs> an area that we can put gym in or anything like that. So right. I'm getting tired of working out by the by the stove. <laughs> yeah. So one of the questions that is just absolutely killing it for us right now is asking them why do you want to join our program right so instead of diving deep into their goals i know we're supposed to ask like 10 layers of why we just dive right into it so like why do you want to why do you want to get into our program and we basically take that and we stem it down into the entire conversation uh, you know what it's like i mean the government put us in the space too so it's looking like sooner than later right? and so what i'm doing right now is building a future for them right so i'm building excitement for them to feel good Right. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's been tough times, but hey, the outlook is looking good. Right. So like even if you don't open till June 30th, you're like, yeah, we just got news. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're allowed to open up in June 30th and things are going to look a little bit different, but it's going to be great. We're still going to do, you know what I mean? So you're pre-framing the outlook versus them looking at it into a negative way. Right. You want them to be in a positive mindset throughout that entire conversation. Right? Like yeah. That, yeah. Well, I know like I, I work in Oh yeah. Phase two. Yeah. But, um, I mean, there's going to be a lot of logistics before it actually happens. So, yeah. um, so I wasn't sure, you know, what, what you guys are doing. So, so are you are you actually going to be opening up your your spot or? Well, the, well, uh, the, plan, the plan is to open up. Okay, so this is what we're doing right now. We have an amazing online platform, and I don't know if you saw it, but I would compare our online workouts similar to like Shanti and Beachbody, okay? okay? Then we're gonna be offering the outdoor workouts that are only exclusive to people that are within our group. So we will put the invite in there and it's all weather depending, but our plan is to do one a week, right? Unless we get pulled otherwise, but our plan is to do one a week. Then once they op like they allow us to open up, we're gonna take a little bit of time just to get the facility ready, get our staff ready, get our coaches ready, but it won't take much longer than seven days after they give us the okay. And then we're going to offer all three. So we're going to do the outdoor workouts for the larger group. We're going to do the virtual workouts for those that still kind of want to stay home, stay safe. And then we're going to offer the in, like in class workouts with the coaches. Just think about those three value stacks, right? So you're, you're again, you're pre-framing your client so that they're like, wow, that's great. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that's awesome. Right. So it's like, you can come in, and depending on space availability, we don't try and lie to anybody where we're like, yeah, everybody's going to be allowed. And we're just like, you could come in when we're, when we're open, but I didn't give them a date because we don't really have a date yet. And then we're like, you can do the online platform. And what we say is you can do it at any time that works best for you, or you could come and join us when we do our outdoor workouts. But again, it's weather depending. And when we open up at full capacity, you'll be able to come and do all three. So they're like, wow, I got like three opportunities to work out. And so now it becomes from super inconvenient. And that's what I'm finding. The difference between doing the virtual and doing the brick and mortar is that people are always like, oh, I don't know if I have time. But now it's like, hey, no problem. We're offering online training for you. And you can basically either tune in on Zoom or you can, do the, you, can, you can get the recordings for up to 24 hours before we put a new one in there. And you can do it when it works for you. And they're just like ecstatic about it but at limited capacity. Okay. Yeah. And still practice social distancing, washing, and washing, all that stuff. Yeah. 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 I know. It's okay. like the new normal. <laughs> it is. Well, and it's only going to be like this for a little while, and the fact that we didn't get any second wave. I don't see Ontario making any adjustments, and they had some major outbreaks. Right? It's not like they oh, it's, it's Here's where I would critique myself. Don't go on a topic that you don't want to get into. Right. Just keep it all in the line because this could have went out of where, you know what I mean? But luckily we pull it back. But don't try and overstep your knowledge base and anything that goes outside of what you're actually talking about. Yeah. Yeah. No, 
our um, Alberta, Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, mm -hmm. and are going to be in it for a while. Oh, really? Have uh, we we have family out in Alberta that yeah. are talking talking like <laughs> they sound. Again, a conversation I don't want to have. So RJ, don't do that anymore. Like the, <laughs> you know, some of the uh, Trump followers. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's just like please don't talk like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. I just sort of just said, you know, you before you start posting things on Facebook, you really have to check what the facts are. Yeah, and that's basically all I said. And, yeah. You know that because I don't well, want to start a family war. <laughs> no kidding. Well, hey, if we yeah. can bring some like happiness to people even for a short period of time. You know, if we get a big second wave and they shut us down again, at least we we opened up and we're able to get people back and kind of. I think is one of the best places to be right now. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so this is the way it works. It, now we're going for the close, right? So we're setting up the frame. Uh, like right now, what we're doing is 14 days free. So that's basically what you opted in for. After the 14 days, we give you 50% off. So I reconfirm re what she originally got into because remember, this is like a five minute conversation. This could actually be a minute less if we would have minus that. So I'm reconfirming what she actually opted in for and then I'm going for the upsell. Okay. And we're doing 14 days free with the membership reservation. The membership. And what we're doing is we're taking membership reservation because when we open, we're, we have this new pandemic pricing which we're offering 50% off. But uh, the first month is going to be 65 bucks. After that, it'd be $65 every two weeks. Now, you don't pay anything today, and you don't pay anything until your 14 days is up. So by me saying that prevents her from coming up with any objections. But I'm going to show you how to overcome objections if they do it. But if you pre-frame it to them just like, hey, like you're not paying anything until that 14 days is up, then that's already them. They've already released like 10 price objections that they would have because I'm doing the, the non-close close and letting them know that they're not going to get charged anything for the first 14 days. And if any time in those first 14 days that you feel like this program isn't right for you, but you've already been with us, you know what I mean? But yeah. let's just say for whatever reason. You when I say she's been with us, she, she did an LBO. She only came for one day and that was a year and a half ago. So I would consider this a new client. Okay. She came once a year and a half ago. I did it, and then I got so busy. I just like I just I just couldn't. I I was never able to be back there during your hours. So here's the thing, okay? This is actually a good part. So she's telling me she just came up with her own objection, right? So now she's telling me her objection. Now what I'm doing is 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 like being honest with her. Like I want to know, okay? So if that's your problem, then how is that going to change now that we're doing this, right? So watch. So do you so, think that's going to um, be a problem when you get up and running? Like, I don't want you starting. Well, you need to do. Well, I don't want you to start anything. That's the biggest thing that you hear. Oh, I don't want to start something and then I don't get to do it. I always do these things. I join a gym and I don't go, right? So it's like you're making them come up with their own solutions, right? So it's like, okay, if this is a problem, do you think it's going to still be a problem? And if so, how are you going to fix it? They're like, oh, yeah, I can, you know, a lot of people will step up to the plate. You just got to ask the right questions, right? And she just answered her own question. So like, instead of me saying, oh yeah, you get to come in person and we get to do the outdoor workouts, you get a meal plan. And like, I'm not going to feed her anything that I don't, cause I don't want to have this conversation longer than six minutes. Right. So the virtual, we're going to, we're going to continue. Like I guarantee it's going to run for 30 days after we're open that fully full capacity. And that's what I'm saying right now. It's going to be, we're going to run virtual for 30 days for when we're open for full capacity. So that's full capacity because I want to be able to cater to all my clients still that want to stay home and maybe they can't get in. Right. And so I'm telling her that the virtual is going to exist for 30 more 30 days after we open, which is going to look probably like September. Right. And then I'm going to reassess after 30 days, whether the virtual is lucrative or not. And so that's why I've opened up my, my marketing to all of Winnipeg. My plan is just to take this, the online platform and just like be that guy and then maybe go nationwide. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm gonna. My initial plan is to be the best for virtual in Manitoba. So that's 
that's full capacity. So next week, if we're allowed to open, we're not going to be at full capacity. So the 30 days doesn't start until they, they say you guys are at full capacity. So that could be us running these sessions until like October, November. Okay. You know what I mean? And then basically we have two methods of the way that we do it. The first method is through Facebook. So in Facebook, we add you. So here's how you make it convenient, right? So like we're giving you two options. So how is this convenient for you to do it at home? Into our private group where that's where you'll have access to the workouts. And there's two workouts a day right now that uh, sit in there for 24 hours. In 24 hours, we put a new workout in there and then you'll have access to that one for 24 hours. And we also have a library in there as well. But if you want the fresh stuff, then the fresh stuff comes in there every day at 7 a.m. So remember, you guys all have video libraries of all your workouts if you've been streaming them on Facebook. Okay. If not, I would put them in there. Even better if you can put them into a membership site. So Paul, in this, there's a met you can create a membership in here and just store all your workouts in there. And basically you have a resource site now, right? Okay. Then uh, if you want to do both, like if you want to say like, let's say you want, you know, you're doing your film and you're able to come in on a Saturday then you can book that Saturday session and you can do you know, six virtual sessions if you want. Yeah, so it's awesome. Like, I mean, we call it dual delivery. And uh, this is the best pricing that we've ever done because we've realized that, hey, like people can't pay the 225 a month membership that we are normally charging. And uh, so we reduced it down to $65. But once we're open at full capacity, already now we're, like, I've got so many people that want in that, it's hard to keep up with them. I've actually had to rehire three of my staff. FOMO, you guys know what FOMO is? Fear of missing out, right? So we're, you guys, everybody, I don't care what gym you're running, you're, everybody's doing, should be doing some type of charter membership. And that's basically what we're doing. It's like once we open at full capacity, our rates are going up, right? And we're so busy, I can't even keep up with them. And they're like, oh man, like I better get on this right now, right? Like these guys are the best in town. And so you basically want to get that commitment right then and there. Yeah, like at first I laid everybody off, and then now that things are starting to lighting up, we are we're taking in so many new people, and so we're what we're doing is that the people that reserve their membership now are going to have all three options: so outdoor workouts, indoor workouts, plus the virtual workouts, and then <laughs> excuse me, and then you keep that membership rate. So when we raise our rates again, because you know, our capacity could get filled out, your rate stays the same. So you're going to get what's called a charter membership. And again, you don't pay anything for 14 days. So if you find that you can't make it work, you don't like the online workouts or whatever, you don't like the the trend that Fit Club's going towards, then you just let us know and we'll count for your membership. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Good. So can I still have a card here? Oh, what card do you want to pay with? <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, that's it. That's nine minutes. Right? And you just got to basically keep it on track. So any questions up to that point? So the key with this, and I know that, uh, Paul, you're struggling to keep people on after, like even if they do the membership reservation. Now the key is the second layer to this. So I just showed you guys how to, uh, to, to convert them, okay? Simplify and convert. The next step is that you need to make sure they're getting onboarded properly, okay? And so like, um, you know, in our group, what happens is that person goes into the membership reservation in our pipeline. Our accountability coach then goes and looks at their file, make sure that the payment's set up, make sure that they they got Zen planner, et cetera, et cetera. They reach out to them and they ask for a little introduction. When we're doing the close, we ask them for when their first workout is and we make a note. Then when we make that note, that accountability coach goes in there within the next 24 hours and checks to make sure that that person um, was checked in and did they do their sweaty selfie. And so now you're actually following through on the accountability. And this is what justifies keeping your rates high for your virtual is that what happens after the sale, right? So if you're just trying to offer virtual sales or virtual workouts and you don't have the, the $30,000 setup like I have, then you need, to, you need to justify your sale by making sure that your clients are getting onboarded properly. Because if you can onboard them properly, make their first seven days like an actual experience where they're a part of your community, then you're going to keep them well after the 14 days or 21 days or whatever that, whatever it is that you're running. So every client, and I've seen it, every client that we've onboarded properly, they have jumped on our Zooms and they have not missed a session yet. 
and they, their memberships went through. So returning, because a lot of our OGs are going, right? Because they're so used to working out in the morning, like working out at, at these times and they just can't wait it out anymore. And so they're, they're quitting, right? And so we just need to replace them. As much as it hurts to get rid of a client that you became a friend, it's still a business. And so we need to replace them with new members and you got to, you got to shorten the time it took for you to get your clients from an OG. So normally our OGs take about six months just, and it just happens naturally by them working out, meeting people and this and that. Now we're like, what, how can we speed that up and make it happen in six days? And so the onboarding process, it, 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 like, like I know Todd, uh, Todd does a good job with like welcoming people, but if you can get into another layer and get to know that person a little bit and get them to share their journey, even a picture, then like you've now really onboarded and then your accountability coach should be following up with them, making sure that they did do their first workout, making sure that they understand how to get zoom workouts, making sure they understand where the Facebook posts are. Do you know what I mean? Like they have that. If you spend that time within the first 48 hours or six days of, of, of selling that client on a membership, then they're going to stay. And we only do this for clients that do the membership reservation. So if they do the member, I said, this is the reason why if I can get you into the group for free, but at the same time, I want to make sure that you do this right. And you don't have to pay anything. But if you say that you want to reserve at this 50% membership rate, then, then I'm going to introduce you to your accountability coach. And she's going to be on you over the next two weeks. And, and they're like, okay, I need this. Right? Like, they, they, I absolutely need this. And so that's how we get them. Like, that's like, if they say, oh, I got to think about whatever. We just like, this is the reason why you have to do it. Is because you got to make sure that you onboard them properly. And then when you onboard properly, they're going to see, holy crap, this is not just me watching a YouTube video. This is me working out with these guys. And even though the quality is not as good as Beachbody, but they're actually connecting with me on a deeper level. I'm not getting, I'm, I'm having. I got to talk to my spouse first. Oh, absolutely, RJ. You know, I always talk to my spouse before making financial decisions. I think that's really important. So what's cool about reserve membership is you have two weeks talk it over to your spouse and make sure that it's going to work with your budget and he's going to let you do it. Your spouse likes to save money, doesn't he? he does. Awesome. Any okay, more? Well, third scenario, because I like things in threes. Laura, I'm, I, I just can't spend any money right now. i got to save as much money as I possibly can. Oh, I totally Let's get go. it, RJ. Oh, you know, you take that one, Tom, you get it. No, no, you first. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I totally get it. I'm trying to watch my budget right now, too, and things are pretty tight. Um, and that's why we have this free program for you, because we want to help our community. But what's going to happen if you fall in love with it? I don't want you to have to pay full price at the end. Like, don't you, don't you like saving money? Or wouldn't it help your budget if you could save money? I absolutely that money. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. 